This is an Acer E-Machines 355. I believe it's a 2012 model. Whatever that says it is. Can't read it. All right, to get to this point, I'm here diagnosing a power issue. One of the sides of my power plug, the ground came unplugged. I just gotta get that plugged back in and I should be able to charge again. Oh boy. Um, this laptop has bolts on the back. Remove the battery, remove the bolts on the back, and then you open it and you remove the keyboard before removing anything else. So just take out the bolts. Don't remove anything except the keyboard. So you have to get under a corner of the keyboard and then work it out all the way around. You'll find little tabs where to push in. So they'll come out of this keyboard bed. You can see those tabs. Now once that's off, don't yank it out because the ribbon will still be attached. The ribbon will be plugged in here. So you need to pull out the lock, pull out the corners. And then you can pull out the ribbon and remove the keyboard. After that, what you'll have, this will still be attached, is these instructions that say door. So you move the four bolts that say door. One, two, uh, three. And there's another one here that's covered by a piece of tape. You can take those four out and then you can push the door out through this hole. And then you can pop the door out of the back. So this will all come off. Um, one thing to note is the rubber feet. There's a hole for the rubber feet. They stay on there. So don't try to yank on the rubber feet. They don't move. And then once that's out, um, you can access this. But I actually didn't have to do this. I only needed to get to the power on top. So rather than just removing those four bolts, to get to the power, I needed to remove these other four bolts on the sides. Sorry, to remove these four bolts to get to the door, I needed to remove these other four bolts to pop this off. I probably could have left, well I had to remove those four anyway, but I didn't actually have to take off the door. So this is off. This button sticks sometimes, I don't know why, I'll probably lubricate it. All that does is press on What's the actual button, which is down there, little fella? Boop, boop. Sorry, my finger's all messed up. Um, I was able to work this out. It seemed loose. That's like kind of how I knew something was up. But now I'm going to figure out how to get myself some slack. Something in there to yank out a little bit of extra cord so I can plug that terminal back in. And then we're good to go. And I'll test it before I put it all back together.